Hey guys, it's Kat. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like so... Let's try that again. Hey guys, no, it's two hands. Hey guys, it's Cass. <laughs> hey guys, it's Cass and welcome back or to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the $40 sale from Runway, the label. I have shopped with them once before and I only bought one outfit and I don't know, like I did really like it. It looked really nice, but it's hard to judge a brand off of like one outfit, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. When I order clothes now from like White Fox or Pretty Little Thing or Princess Polly or any of those stores, I usually get a minimum of like three to four things and I kind of bulk buy and then I make a decision on whether I want to keep shopping from there and typically if like 80% of the clothes are good I will continue to shop with them uh, obviously there's things you do and don't like but I don't think I've like ever returned an item of clothing only once but it was faulty and it, it was a very tricky outfit it had <laughs> lots of like gemstones and stuff on it and it was probably quite hard to like it wasn't really an outfit for longevity it was more of an outfit for one event and one event only um but it was a showstopper so i can't say that it didn't fit it was a beautiful outfit i saw that runway the label was having a 40 dollar sale and that is australian dollars <clears throat> that's australian dollars just so you guys know uh, just depending on where you're watching this from. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening to my voice. I'm actually wearing one of their pieces right now. And I know a lot of girls actually wear these without like bralettes or bras. And I don't have enough like boobage for that. It just opens right up. So I don't know what you guys are doing. I think they're taping it. I'm assuming. I don't have any tape handy on me right now. So I'm sorry. This is the best it's going to get. But I adore this fit. I do have like a little try on of it as well, which I will insert. I did decide to get it because of the Paisley. I'm doing a Melbourne trip soon. It's gonna be a bit colder, so I can wear as much or as little as I need underneath it. The pants will keep me warm. I can wear some cute like heels with it for that kind of classy business woman type of look. And I don't know, I just thought it was super unique for $40 per piece. Just reminding you guys, this was not sold in a set. So it is a set, but it's sold separately. You know, some websites kind of put their things together and they have, like, I would buy this all together for $40. That's not the case. It was technically an $80 outfit, but 100% worth it. This would usually be, like, worth so much more. All of the items were heavily discounted and I definitely would have paid the original prices if it not be for the sale but obviously i just i couldn't say no i'm a shopaholic yeah so now i have my ipad pro here with me because i have a terrible memory don't ask me to remember anything that's not like ingrained in my brain um i can remember something from 10 years ago but i can't remember something from five seconds ago so anyway this is the monaco blazer and I also am wearing the Monaco pant. Now everything I got was in an extra small as well, just for referencing on size. I usually am like a size six or an extra small. So I would say that the website is pretty true to size. Like nothing was unwearable. Like things maybe could have been a little bit tighter or a little bit less tight, but nothing that is just unwearable. If you guys kind of have had that experience where you just put on your like, it's falling off me or I physically can't get it on. I didn't experience that. So I would say it's pretty good. Now, as for the quality of the material, this is insane. Like it's beautiful quality. It would definitely keep me warm. It's lined. This is like, this is like an 8.5 out of 10. I'm, I'm not gonna do points actually. I'm gonna say this is a nine out of 10. I think it is beautiful. I have this outfit here. 
I have my little like trusty dusty reminder here. How embarrassing is that? But anyway, this one is the flower mini dress. It did come in a few different colors. It may look like it's falling to pieces right now, but it's actually just like crisscrossed. Anyway, this is a bit outgoing for some people. I know some people might not like having this on their chest, but I'm going to an art gallery event in Brisbane. I was invited as a VIP, very exciting. And I thought this would be the perfect thing to wear because it's a little bit, a little bit abstract, a little bit fun. Also, Charlie D'Amelio wore this. And I would probably give this a seven out of 10. It is slightly not tight enough and it probably falls down a little bit. And I'm not trying to nip slip anyone, but other than that, it's a really, really nice outfit. Again, a nice material that is lined. Okay, this set here, I've got the sequin bandeau in butter, and this one zips up at the back. It is not a tie, it's also got lots of sequins. I I think this could also possibly be slightly tighter, but I don't have big boobs. If you had any bigger boobs than me, this would be like perfect fitting. So it's not loose, it's not falling off me. I just mean it's not perfectly fitting, but you know, it's got the lining, sorry, the, what do you call it? That stuff that like sticks at the top. It's like silicone-y, silicone, I think. Um, so yeah, pretty good. And this is like the, matching skirt it is actually all just like a sheet until you wrap it around it's got this thingy here which you loop in and this was very nice fitting and it's not too exposed at the gap where it's like falling out but yeah you don't want to be doing you know we talk about nip slips but there's something else that you could probably be slipping that's slightly more this one was the draped skirt in butter. So they're both the same color code. And this one on, honestly, probably an eight. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a really, really nice set. Now we've got another sequiny type one, the Carolina mini dress in the color aqua. <laughs> I mean, I know it's aqua, but sometimes they have different names. This has so many sequins on it and like, like maybe one or two sequins have fallen off it, which they always do. But look, I think that it's very like well-made. I think sequin dresses can sometimes look tacky, but I think this looks really great and the backless moment, like the low drape back, I'm loving it. The only complaint that I had is that it could have been slightly tighter because I feel like it gapes at the back a bit and you'll maybe notice that in the clip, but I mean, if I didn't say anything, you probably wouldn't notice it and I'd still give it an eight out of 10. Like, I think I look great in it. I love it. And it's very like, I don't know, it's like a comfy material. Uh, if you're wearing it for a long period of time, you wouldn't feel uncomfortable whatsoever. So I think this is, this is real good. Now I think this is pronounced palace, palette palace. Uh, so we've got the cropped shirt and the midi skirt and they're both in white. These are like that kind of linen vibe and this is stretchy. You can put this shirt straight on over your head. It's got a collar, it's got a button. I'm loving these elastic bits. It makes it look so sexy. Like who knew linen could be so sexy? This has a zip too, so you don't have to like squeeze into it. You can just put it on and yeah, this makes your body look amazing, especially if you're tan. That's why I got the white and I think that I can give this an eight out of 10. Also, I know I'm going pretty high on the ratings, but everything that I got was really good. And like, <laughs> I'm just being honest. This is not sponsored. This is just my opinion. You guys can obviously have your own opinion as well, but I think that everything fit quite well. This one didn't gape 
or wasn't too big in the slightest. I think this was like perfect fitting for this particular outfit. Now the last one that I had, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. The last one that I had was the Alley set. This fabric is stunning. Like, can you imagine this in the flash? Not flashing someone, like with flash photography. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but you know what I mean? Like you're in a club, you're at a, you know, night restaurant venue, whatever. And someone's pulled out their camera, flashes on, and you're like shining, you're reflecting. That's the energy we want. And this top literally reminds me of a butterfly. You'll know what I mean when I'm wearing it in the clip, but again, because I have small boobs, it sometimes maybe gapes a little bit. That's more of my problem than the clothing company. So yeah, I like that it has two ties. You do actually have to feed it like into the outfit, which can be a little challenging in this little bit here. But once you have it, you don't really need to take it out again. And the skirt also has a zip. So you're not squeezing into that one either. I do have a lot more booty than I do up here. So sometimes if things don't have a zip and whatnot, yeah. Paid like 340 Australian dollars altogether, obviously free shipping for all of that clothing, which I think would have cracked over a thousand dollars typically. What a steal. Like, I, I couldn't complain about any of the outfits. There's none of them that I would want to send back. All of them I love and I think are going to be great for future events that I have coming up. I just know that Runway, the label, does run sales quite frequently and they all like I mean all online clothing shops do have a sales section but I just find that sometimes the stuff in sales sections is a bit dodgy uh, but I would not say any of this is dodgy it is all typically priced quite like a, a lot higher but it isn't a price that I wouldn't pay but I'm a big bargain hunter and I like to wait for sales and this would have been full price at one point like it's still the same quality, it's just with a cheaper price tag. That doesn't mean it's worth any less. That doesn't mean it's worse quality. It's still, still great. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more or like, I don't know, maybe I can do some more orders from clothing stores unsponsored and give you my honest opinion and do a little like try on haul. Uh, I do enjoy doing them and let me know if there's any other content you'd like to see. I am hopefully getting a vlogging camera soon. It's my iPhone's like fine for these sit down videos because it's on a tripod and it doesn't need auto stabilization, but the camera will just elevate my content so much more. If I'm vlogging, auto stabilization is almost essential. I'm shaking around, I'm moving my phone won't be able to handle all that and my phone battery dies in like five seconds even though I have a brand new phone every year but it's fine <laughs> I probably need one phone for content and one phone for personal use a lot of people do that but anyway once again please like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one but no bye